Hello antique lovers, this is Deanna from Vintage Touch. I went on another antiquing trip this morning, uh, just an hour trip to a flea market, and I wanted to quickly share with you what I found. I um, am not going to be in this video because I wanted to do this quickly. And so um, I want to remind you that nothing has been cleaned up or anything like that so I always clean up my items and make them very presentable before I sell them please watch for the links to any of these pieces in the description of this video where they will either be online in my uh, online store vintage touch online store or in my vintage touch shop space in Hagerstown Maryland um, if they're in the shop space I usually try to put them on my web page so the link will be to them there so you can see them and see what the price is now if something does not show up in this uh, video that you're interested in then just message me and I'll let you know what's going on with that island so be here we go I've got everything spread out here to share with you I got um, two um, nice uh, tin well this one is a heavy gauge metal I don't know if it's tin or not it's a it's a rectangle um, kind of a little bit deeper than a shoe box size of a storage box and it's got a the remnant of an old label there and a, a metal a ring and these boxes are very popular people use them for a lot of decorative um, uses uh, the bottom one is an old um, square uh, square all tin uh, biscuit box and I can't and as you can see the lid comes completely off of that one does not have any label left on it though but again they are very attractive storage boxes if you like that uh, the look of the old metal tin and I just love it myself um, I got three old books here. Uh, the first, these are all from the 1900s. The first one is a song book, um, a song book called The Standard Singer. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger. It is also a song book. It's called uh, The Banner Anthem Book. And then this is a 19th century book called Modern Methods, and it's uh, instructing you in the art of teaching. Those are all very, I love the call, the covers on these. Uh, you can always tell the Victorian era 19th century covers that are on books. They're always so attractive. Okay, the next item. This is a, a small jewelry casket is what they call those. It's a Victorian or Edwardian period item. And uh, this one would be the size for rings. Nice uh, item to have by your bedside to put your rings in if you don't wear them when you sleep or put them in next when you're working in the kitchen or whatever. I mean, they just come in real handy and they're just very nice and attractive. Another piece. This is, this is a vintage rhinestone tiara hair comb. As you can see there, that would be really a pretty piece, and that'll look good on one of my uh, mannequins. And all the rhinestones are there. Uh, here's a very charming little picture. Well, it's actually about, probably about a 5 by 7 or a little bit bigger than that of a little girl. She's in a plaid dress, and she's got her uh, high-top shoes. That'll be really uh, sweet when it's framed up. Uh, in the advertising department, I got a men and men's talcum advertising tin and uh, another advertising tin from the 19th century. This one is called Penex Laxative Tin. It's just the little flat tin. Here's a nice piece. Now this is not cleaned up again, but it is really um, unusual. And it's an amber. You can see the embossing there, the flowers and so forth. It's an amber whiskey bottle, and it has the a screw down screw down 
cap that becomes a shot glass. And I'm going to do some research on that one. I'm not sure. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not real familiar with it, but it does have a lot of information written on there, and I'm not able to read it right now. <clears throat> In the Christmas department, I found a couple of old ornaments. These would be early ornaments, probably early 1900s. And a sweet little um, jointed wood figure there that looks like he's all dressed up for uh, sledding or something. Um, he's wood, and so that would be a nice little piece to put with Christmas things. Here's an advertising horsehair brush that you use to brush off a table top or something and it's in really good condition I got a something that the um, shabby chic people always like and that's a, a like a rusty tin bucket it's a little bit bigger than just a normal little child's pail but it's got a nice bail handle with a wood a wood handle there and it's not rusted through or anything it's just got its charm with all of its wrinkles and stuff and then here is a very nice piece this is an arts and crafts um, desk lamp or tabletop lamp it looks like it's uh, all brass and it doesn't look like it's been used much the cord is in really good condition and so I'm excited to to have found that piece there so that was uh, today's haul I spent about forty nine dollars for these items and um, had a great time and I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video